Hey, happy Sunday. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alice. This is Chase of Bliss, and this is day five of Glovember. As you can see, I am back home. Well, maybe you don't know, but I'm in my bedroom in my bed. Um, it's not morning. It is 5.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm just not making my video because I was on the road traveling today back home from um, our weekend away. I did wake up this morning at 4.30. Actually, no. I was up this morning at 4.15 before my alarm even went off. I woke up, I turned the light on, I got up, I washed my face, I brushed my teeth, I climbed back into the bed, and I did my devotional and my meditation, some journaling, I planned out my week, I just got my day started. Um, and then we got on the road a little later that morning after breakfast, stopped, picked up some groceries, and came home. And uh, I watched the Falcons game, and now I am at the end of my skincare, self-care kind of Sunday situation. Excuse my neighbor's dog that's barking. Um, and I, that's what I kind of wanted to talk about today was self-care and what that looks like for me and how that helps me to uh, glow up. My glasses are crooked. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't fix them. So for me, self-care is a lot more than just um, primping and pampering, as my grandmother calls it. Um, Clearly, I've washed my hair. I'm going to do my hair. Um, I did some skincare today. Yeah, that is that is definitely part of self-care on some days. Um, I do skincare every day, so it doesn't really feel like self-care. But when I have a lot of time and I put more time into it, it definitely feels like self-care. So I just want to kind of take you through my self-care routine that I do. Not every week. I don't do all these things every week, but I try to do these things every week. And I normally do them either on um, a Saturday or a Sunday and sometimes even a Monday if my weekend runs long. So let's just jump into it. So let me just take you quickly through my self-care routine. So the very first thing I do is I get my planner out and I plan my week and I look for times where I can get through all these processes that I needed to do. Um, so as I was planning, I was like, oh, I don't, I didn't plan anything for today because I knew I was going to be traveling. So great. Today is a great day to kind of get myself back on track and set myself up for a good week. So after I plan my week, I plan out exactly what I needed myself for self-care to make me feel better. It varies from week to week. Sometimes it's just I'll be honest with you, sometimes self-care for me is sitting and putting together a puzzle. Um, it's just something fun and light to do. Sometimes it's catching up on my reality TV shows. Sometimes it's reading a book. Um, but then like times for today when I've come off the road, I know I need to take a little bit of extra steps to get myself back on track. So the first thing I knew I wanted to do today was wash my hair and do some skincare. Because I left my skincare products home when we traveled, my skin was just not happy with me. So I definitely wanted to spend some time on skincare. So of course I washed my face, I steamed my face, I did two masks, um, I did some eye treatments. I'm gonna put another eye mask on in a minute. Um, I, you know, cleaned out some of my pores. So I did a very extensive skincare routine. I don't do that every day. So it did feel like self-care. I took my time, I wasn't rushed, did all the things. The other thing I did was like a detox bath because I had been in the car traveling, so my muscles were really sore. I was kind of stiff and tired. So I wanted to do like a detox bath where I just sit in a tub of hot water with Epsom salt. I put tea tree oil in mine, baking soda, and lavender oil if I have it, but I was out. Which is good. I didn't want to put lavender oil in there because it would have made me sleepy way too early. But that's, and I just sit in there for um, 15 minutes. I get out. I wrap myself in a hot towel. I stay that way for about another five minutes, kind of my pores are sweating, and then I just jump in a cool shower and shower and get out. And that's my detox bath. So I was able to do that as well. Um, the second part of self-care for me, especially after a trip, is tracking my finances. Being a good steward over my money is very important to my self-care. I like to know what's going on with me financially. Um, so I do have a budget that I spend my money by. I call it a spending plan. We don't even call it a budget. Oh, way I spend my money so I could tell my money exactly what I, I tell my money exactly where to go. 
So a lot of times you come home from a trip, you swipe your card for like gas station stops, um, meals out, some shopping. So I just want to make sure that I track all of those expenses and make sure that I know what bills I got coming up this week, what I need to pay, am I over budget, am I under budget, what it's looking like. So I did that. I set up some time aside today when I got home and I did that. Um, and then the last thing I, I'm going to do is I am going to kind of detox from screens and people and noises and sounds. I just really want to sit in a quiet room and read. Um, and that's because this weekend was amazing. It was wonderful. Um, and that's not the last thing. I got one more. I'm sorry. I should have said that. Um, it was amazing. It was wonderful. It, I mean, my soul was fed. I met some, I met my daughter's fiance's family and they are an amazing family. And I, but I spent some time with, I was around a lot of people and everybody was talking because we were trying to get to know each other. So it was just no time talking and hugging and laughing and stories. And it was just a lot. And I need to recharge. I need to spend some time with just me. Um, we also stayed in a hotel, so it was just me and my husband and my bonus son in a hotel, a little sweet, so I didn't have a lot of space <laughs> to myself, so I'm going to spend some time alone this evening as kind of my self-care to recharge. And then the last thing, probably one of the more important things is we did stop by the grocery store and I made sure that I had some healthy, healthy food options um for lunch my husband and i try to eat healthy as much as possible breakfast is always covered we always have healthy foods for breakfast because he always usually has oatmeal which is always in the house um i tend to have either a smoothie Junie, stop whining i usually try to have like a smoothie or maybe some eggs and a small carb or something but breakfast is always covered maybe some yogurt and granola it's always covered in our house dinner is always covered because i already kind of meal plan i know what we're gonna have for dinner i know it's gonna be healthy i don't have to worry about that our struggle comes in at lunch we don't really plan for lunches but i told him today i was like you know running a subway or running out to lunch or eating a bowl of cereal for lunch like I did a couple of times last week is not going to happen this week because I want to be prepared. So we stopped and we specifically and intentionally bought things for our lunches so that our lunch meal can also be healthy and planned out and we don't have to make those decisions throughout the week um, and worry about that either. So that was the last thing I did for my self-care this week. And I feel great. I already feel great. I just got to blow dry my hair and do my hair. And then I'm going to cuddle up and read until I fall asleep. And I am looking forward to it. Well, I got to edit this video. Hopefully, I don't have to do too much edit. I try to keep it as short as possible so I won't have to edit it. So I'm going to stop talking now. But yeah, that's what self-care looks like for me. It changes from day to day and from week to week. Um, some people get into a routine. They need to do the same thing all the time. I found that doing the same thing all the time doesn't always feel like self-care to me. So I kind of switch it up. I kind of check in with myself, see what I've done, see what I need, and then I plan around that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've had a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. 